Jason. What is it? It's spiders. What kind of spiders? Jumping, Jumping. spiders. <laughs> you want to get them? Thank you. Go. Oh, thank you so much. We got our spiders. Kate was going to carefully carry them into the living room. Which is messy right now, but. Oh, and look. Look who's on TV. Lucas the spider. <laughs> We've been watching Lucas all morning. Today, we got a special delivery. We received jumping spiders. Are you super excited? Yeah! Yeah! Oh, but we're not gonna scream because it's probably gonna scare them. We are going to put these guys down off to the side and let them have a chance to just settle in there while we get their enclosures set up and put together. Um, so that's what we're gonna do next. Okay, so we got the two new spiders today, the two jumping spiders. I believe you say it, The what their real name is Fidibus Regis. They're called jumping, they're called regal jumping spiders. And so Fidibus Regis is the scientific name. So if you saw one of our previous videos, you might have seen that for two days, we had a teeny tiny jumping spider that we had found in our own backyard and it was we kept it in here. We weren't sure if that one was a boy or a girl. It's a different species. That's what you used to say what the scientific name is. It's a different species than the ones that we got in the mail today. Um, and he was so tiny, he was smaller than my pinky finger. And so it found a way to, I think, get out of there's little tiny holes um, on like right where the opening connects. And we think he might've gotten out that way. He got out one time for sure. And I thought he was gone. And then we saw him walking across my computer monitor in my office. And so we put him back. And then after he was put back in there, we noticed that he kept kind of coming to the same areas where we thought he could get out before. And so it seemed like he really wanted to go home. Mm -hmm. So we let him go free back to where we found him on the side of our house, the same exact area we found him in. And um, we were grateful that we got to hang out with him for two days, but mm -hmm. now he's back where he seemingly seems comfortable. Yeah. The two spiders that we got in the mail today, we got them from someone named Tiana. She's known as the bug lady on TikTok. And a lot of people know her as someone who's helping so many people get over their arachnophobia. Arachnophobia means you're scared of spiders. So mommy, me, I have been arachnophobic my whole life. I've been scared of spiders my whole life. And, Me too. <laughs> and Me Ava too. kind of has to, well, Ava has to. <laughs> and so watching Tiana's videos on TikTok have caused me to fall in love with her jumping spiders and I think they're so adorable. And for the first time in my life, I've been like, I think I'm gonna be a little bit open to having a spider come to my house and let it come here and live and take care of it. So we have two now and we're gonna clean out this enclosure from when the little tiny jumping spider in our backyard was in it. And then we have- The same exact one. We have the same exact one. This is the Zilla Micro Habitat. So we're gonna go ahead and set that one up too. And we're gonna have one for each of them. We're gonna put some fun decor for mm -hmm. um, them to play on in each of their enclosures. And once they're all set up, then we will let them explore their new homes. Yeah. So these enclosures are nice because they're front opening enclosures and jumping spiders are, I might mess up this word. I think they're called, uh, uh, Arboreal, arboreal, I think is how you say it, which means that they like to climb up. So they like to have enclosures that are tall, um, taller for them to climb up to the top and they usually make their webs near the top. The, um, this is a front opening enclosure, which is nice because when they make their webs on the top, if you go to open it, um, it's not going to mess up their web. If you had an, an enclosure that opened on the top, every time you opened it, you might interrupt their web um, and you don't want to do that because if they're molting then that could hurt them and you don't want to um, disrupt their their web because that's their nest <laughs> and so you want to keep that intact so the front opening enclosures are really nice mm -hmm. um, and then it's really nice that it has this nifty little latch that you can turn 
and it latches that way and then you put it down in this little hole so then it keeps it so it can't open. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and twist it open, open the enclosure and take this stuff out and then we're gonna clean the sides off with just a paper towel and water, nothing else, no, no cleaner or anything. Um, and we're gonna make sure all the webs from the little Spidey that was in here before are gone and get it reset up for our next spider to live in it. And I'm gonna just throw this away because there's probably fruit flies in it and maybe even some spider poop, I don't know. <laughs> We got a few fun things to put inside the spider's enclosure because they like to climb and explore and have fun. And so we're kind of gonna turn them into like, almost like a little fairyland type of thing. And we got a bunch of fun things from the store to make it look more fun and playful. We got this bench. It's a little bench. We got two little tiny trees. Two pine trees. And then this is decorative moss. So it's just like, almost like ribbon, but it's moss. And so I'm just gonna cut a section and put it on the bottom. And we got three little tiny ladders. Well, we have a few ladders. And so I'm probably gonna use some hot glue to glue them together and make them, cause they're kind of small now. So I'm gonna probably glue at least two together, maybe three um, to make it tall enough to, it's gonna have like this little tree house that Tiana sent us, it's in the box. Um, we're gonna have to get that out of the box with the spiders. Um, so there's a little tree house, it's probably gonna stick on the wall and then we're gonna put these little ladders inside that are gonna walk up to the tree house so it can climb in if it wants to. So we're gonna do a little decorating. Um, see how it goes. So far, we put some pine trees and a wood bench inside there. And Tiana sent us a, oh, Zara's coming to join us. Do you see the little trees and the bench for the spider? Tiana also sent us a little mini tree house that she made and we're gonna include that in the enclosure. And then I'm going to glue some ladders together and have a ladder going up to it. So in order to get the tree house out, that means we have to open the box for the spiders. And so we're not ready for our spider friends to come out yet, but we need to open the box that they're in to get the tree house out of it so we can finish this enclosure. And my favorite part so far is the little bench. So my kids left me to go play outside because it is a nice day. And this little project was taking a little bit longer than we expected it to, um, probably because we had little hands that wanted to help as well. Um, but I think our boys is done. He has a little tree house and his little bench and a couple of pine trees. And I just added some leaves um, for a little bit more coverage and maybe he can climb on the stalk there. I don't know, we'll have to see. So you do wanna make sure that there are some sturdy items in there and not just leafy ones. That's what I have found in my research. So I feel like the tree house is a sturdy item and also the bench is a sturdy item. And um, those trees in the back are sturdy not like wood sturdy, but they're sturdier than the leaves, so there's a good mix. And then we also have some of the moss in there for humidity. So I haven't sprayed in there yet, but I'm going to set this one to the side and then I'm gonna put together the other one for our little girl. And that's gonna take me a while because it is still in the box. enclosure is all done now so I can go ahead and start decorating. Mm -hmm. 